Right, still on schools, and Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi has ordered a thorough search for learners who are yet to report to school. Matiangi, who was in Tarakanithi, particularly singled out a secondary school in the county that has 84 missing students, ordering that they be found immediately. This happening as Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha announced that there will be no access to schools for outsiders. According to Professor Magoha, nobody including parents or the clergy, will be allowed into school since the national examinations period is around the corner. Take a look. Members of the fourth estate. Professor Magoha spoke during a media breakfast on Wednesday, dissecting why it was difficult for his ministry to allow any guests inside schools this term. This is because the examination matter is a very serious matter. Let us not forget that only four years ago, our examination uh, issues were in shambles. And now that our children are going to be doing exams in less than eight weeks, who has singled out the media? We have said nobody goes to school, including parents, including archbishops. Three other cabinet secretaries, Farede Karone for lands, Jom Sher for ICT and James Mashare for transport, also attended the meeting, each seemingly conveying the government's agenda on school reopening in the COVID era. Actually between uh, health ministry, because this is a health issue, and also education ministry, to make sure they can, especially health ministry, can provide guidance in collaboration with the Minister of Education. And for us, we shall basically facilitate those protocols which will be agreed upon. The issue of learners living with chronic diseases arising, where health CAS Dr. Massimo Ngangi outlined measures by the Ministry of Health to protect such children. We've been able to, one, um, engage with our schools to be able to have that database. So having a chronic uh, condition registry of children across the different schools, that's one of the key interventions we're putting in place. Teachers will also be receiving guidance and counselling as they teach through the pandemic, the Teacher Service Commission CEO Dr. Nancy Masharia further affirming that all teachers have been insured of the COVID-19 disease and are eligible to receive treatment across all the facilities. We are training or and supporting the guidance and uh, counseling uh, teachers who will then and who are then being uh, trained by uh, uh, professionals in uh, psychosocial. Uh, issues. And these are the teachers now who will then go and take care of the learners and the teachers in the schools who may have issues. Yet again, the government may begin a door to door campaign for learners who have not reported to school. Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi, who was assessing the preparedness of schools in implementing the government's back to school roadmap in Tarakanithi and Meru counties, hinting on the move when he ordered a search for 84 Kajunduthi high school students who are yet to report back to school. We have a record of 311 girls in Tarakanithi are expecting. But we have agreed again because of the teamwork we have with the county government and uh, the Ministry of Education officials and Ngao. We know where each one of those 311 girls are. They go back to school, they will be supported and we ensure that we fulfill the plan of government. Matiangi also toured Kereini Primary School and Eku Girls both located in Meru County. And away from the many guidelines issued by the various ministries, Professor Magoa insists no parent or any other Kenyan will be allowed to public schools this term owing to the national exams coming this March. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.